The American Kennel Club holds its 21st national championship. More than 5,000 dogs from all over the world will compete in categories like best in show, best bred by exhibitor, junior events, and more. So joining me live from Brooklyn are the two co-hosts for the event, Gina DiNardo, Executive Secretary of AKC, and Carolyn Mano, sports anchor and television personality. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Well, Gina, let's start with how did the AKC National Championships first get started? This is wonderful. Sure, we started it 21 years ago, and the AKC is the governing body for the sport of purebred dogs like the NFL for football. And in general, our clubs put on dog events all over the country. But this is the only event that the American Kennel Club itself puts on under its own banner. And it's the largest dog show in North America. It's at the end of a year's worth of competition of dog shows around the country. And it's the only event where the winner, the best in show winner, becomes the national champion. Oh, okay, interesting. The more you know, I learned something new this morning. Now, how many breeds are competing in this <laughs> year's competition? So there's 195 different breeds that are competing. Then we divide the breeds into seven groups by their function. So sporting, hound, working, toy terrier, non-sporting, and herding. And we choose one dog from each of those groups to advance to the best in show lineup. So at the end of the night, we start with over 5,000 dogs. We end up with the top seven. And then one of those lucky dogs gets crowned national champion. I don't know how they choose because they're all just so cute and they all look so perfect. <laughs> now, Carolyn, how did you get involved? What are parts of the show that you find most exciting? Well, the parts I find most exciting, Melissa, are a couple of things. One, being able to educate the public about how many breeds actually exist. I mean, this has been a real education for me. I met Gina DiNardo and started working with the American Kennel Club a couple of years ago, and I quickly realized how much there is to learn uh, across the entire landscape of dog sports. But one of the things I look forward to is being able to introduce viewers at home who might have a dog, any dog, and say, well, this is a Glen of a Mall Terrier, or this is a Sussex Spaniel, this is an Ozawak. I mean, there are so many ancient breeds that go back to the Romans that were involved, you know, in Greek literature. I mean, the history of all these breeds is remarkable, and there's no shortage of interesting facts that Gina <laughs> kind of delights us with along the way. So to, to be able to learn more about how dogs assist humans and, and why the relationship that we have with canines is so special is something that's thrilling for me. And also, you know, at the end of the day, Melissa, it's really about responsible dog ownership. It's about helping people find a breed that makes sense for their lifestyle? Are you active? Are you a couch potato? You know, do you want to be able to train your dog? Does your dog need mental and physical stimulation? And so to, to make that connection and to have somebody on their couch go, oh yeah, I think of a Glen of a Mall is right for me, um, <laughs> is really thrilling because there's so much to learn and there's so many breeds out there. There's one for every family. There really is. That's so important. And Carolyn, what goes into organizing a do dog show like this? Well, it's a massive event, and there are so many people who work so hard all around the calendar year to make it happen. We're at the Orange County Convention Center. We've been there for about a decade, and it's a massive space. They're a perfect host, and they're such a gracious host. Not only are there more than 5,000 dogs that go for the national championship, when you really consider all of the events that are put on over the course of the week and into the weekend across so many different dog sports, there's really closer to 10,000 dogs that come through the doors mm -hmm. with their owners and breeders and handlers. There are a number of vendors that are there and so when the spotlight is on on the national championship at the end of the night on January 2nd and we've whittled all that down from 5,000 <laughs> to seven and then to one national championship it's such an exciting moment because it's something that so many people uh, between the American Kennel Club and also Royal Canaan work so hard to pull off and it's a lot of fun well two quick last questions for you both before we have to go here Gina where can viewers watch, of course, and who is in your lap? What is the name of that cute guy? <laughs> so this is Angel Baby. She is a two-year-old Glen of a Mall Terrier, a very rare breed from Ireland that you'll see in the Terrier group. And you can watch the show this Sunday, January 2nd, on ABC, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 uh, a.m. Pacific. Wonderful. Oh, she's so sweet. Thank you both so much for being here this morning. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>
For more information on the Kennel Club Dog Show in the championship, head on over to Fox 59.